Come along as we explore the exploits of an aviation pioneer. Less than 10 years after the Wright brothers made their historic first flight, a man named Eugene Ely put the new airplane to the ultimate test at the request of Captain Washington Chambers, appointed by the Secretary of the Navy to investigate military uses for aviation in the Navy. The first experiment took place November 14, 1910, when Ely took off in his airplane from a platform erected over the bow of the light cruiser USS Birmingham. When the tiny aircraft left the runway, it plunged downwards and all thought it would be lost. But at the last possible moment, the plane leapt upwards as its wheels dipped into the water, seconds before taking triumphant flight. It had been proven that aircraft could indeed take off from ships at sea. Later, Ely was again approached by Captain Chambers and asked if he would help the Navy yet again, this time in landing a plane on a ship. The demonstration took place on January 18, 1911. The target was the armored cruiser USS Pennsylvania, anchored in San Francisco Bay. After taking off, Ely made a quick circle of the area and came in towards the ship's stern. Suddenly, his plane was hit by an updraft that threw it slightly off course. However, Ely recovered and dove towards the arresting gear that had been set up, making the first successful landing aboard a ship at sea. Unfortunately, Ely couldn't long bask in his triumph. On October 19, 1911, while at an exhibition in Macon, Georgia, Ely's plane was late coming out of a dive, resulting in the tragic death of the brave pilot. However, his legacy has not been forgotten. The Navy has progressed onwards, building newer and better aircraft with which to defend our nation. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Patrick Gearheiser.